Okay, today's video, I'm gonna do a combination movement called a squat curl press. And this is done with a kettlebell or with two kettlebells. So let me demonstrate both, okay? So we start off in the rack position for the front rack position for the kettlebells and we do a squat, right? We squat down, we release, extend, curl, come on back up as we roll back into the rack position and press back down into the rack. So I'll do a couple so you can see it. We squat, we curl, and we press. And I like to stop the momentum because I'm actually trying to get a shoulder press here. So it's not a squat, although you could do it this way, curl thruster. You could do that if you're doing heavier weight, but I want to get the press because I want to isolate the shoulders a little more. Now, if you only have one kettlebell, that's fine. We do the same thing. And so we stay in the rack position. We squat, extend all the way, curl, roll back up and press. Okay. Of course, we want to switch sides and equal them out, okay? So what I recommend doing is five sets of 10 reps, okay? If, uh, if you only have one kettlebell or if the kettlebell is lighter, you can do five reps each side depending on the weight, or you could do 10 reps each side, five sets. And so what you're doing here is you're kind of getting a whole body workout because you're getting some legs with your squat, right? You're getting uh, core, for stability in that front rack position. You're getting some biceps when we do the curl, and of course shoulders and the accessories of the shoulder for the press. Five sets, get you a nice overall body workout. If you have any questions, let me know. Stay strong, I'll see you next time.